this very strong narrative that I hear over and over again, which is that like people aren't spending enough money on their food, and that's evidence that Americans don't really care about their food. And, and that sort of morphs into this thing where it's like, and all those people are eating all that McDonald's, and it just sort of creates this picture of these like low income, like people of color eating tons of McDonald's, right? And sort of when you look at the numbers, right, like the people who are eating fast food are mostly middle class. Like poor people don't actually go out to eat fast food because it's more expensive than cooking at home. If you start looking at household food spending, low income households, so the folks in the bottom third of the economic spectrum are spending 20, 30% of their income on food. Um, the national average is something like 10 to 12%. Um, when you look at the top third, like the 30, um, so that would be households earning $70,000 a year or more, that's an average of 8% a year on income. So those folks, like they can totally spend more money on better and healthier food if they want to. But when we've got households at the lower end where you're seeing way worse health disparities because of what folks are eating, and they're already spending like a third of their income on food, right? that's a very different kind of conversation. I mean, I spend a lot of my time interviewing working class and lower income families about you know, what do you want to be eating? What's important to you? And nobody has ever said to me, you know what's totally awesome? Like diabetes, I want that. <laughs>